the one thing we all have in common is that we all need to stand up to people in power, we all need to protest, and we're all concerned by what these uh, laws are doing. I am standing here today in solidarity with the gypsy and traveller community. The way that gypsy and traveller communities are treated in everyday life wouldn't be tolerated by any other community. When people first started resisting HS2, it was a lot of travellers that were showing up to show solidarity. People turning up with food for us, coming to like help man camps, building that community where we all recognise that we're all one. They didn't cater for this. They didn't care that Black Lives Matter would be standing on a platform in Parliament Square, bigging up the gypsy and traveller community. When somebody is being suppressed or pushed into a corner, what's the first thing you do? You defend yourself, you attack. We will continue to storm Parliament. We will continue to block roads. We will defy you. Protest is a, a pressure valve in a democracy, and if those in power try and stop it, all it does is increase the pressure and forces people to take other actions, and we'll be radicalising people. Without free speech and freedom to assembly, our democracy is under threat. There are many people in this square today who should be hanging their heads in shame, and they are the people in uniform, the police officers of the Metropolitan Police. And in my view, it is time the Metropolitan was abolished and that we have community policing across London and not a police force that is under the control and influence of the Home Office and the government. They're slowly, slowly, slowly strangling us. If we don't stand together and unite, we're going to be trampled over. An injury against one community is an injury against all communities. Solidarity! Yeah.